The Downfall of Generation Z. I'm Madeline and I was born in 2003. And I see a lot of people kind of around my age and it doesn't seem like we're very headed in a very good direction. We have a lot of social media, we have all of our kind of attention is mostly externalized, you know, whether it's by music, movies, YouTube, video games, these sorts of things. And um, as a man, I see there's two kind of groups, you know, there's just like these extroverted groups that are kind of out partying, you know, getting lots of women, sleeping with lots of women, you know, kind of high status, you know. And then there's other guys who are more introspective and kind of reserved like me, who kind of stay in, kind of close himself off to the world and kind of, you know, we're kind of a bit nihilistic. And both of them aren't really healthy, you know. And it's important to try and find a balance between them because these extroverted people need to come in touch to reality and the world and find something that's actually meaningful and kind of tone down like they're um, extroverted and their need to, d to get all this pleasure like the um, lower kind of people like me need to do. You know, we need to stop chasing all these pleasurable things and getting this sat satisfaction from all these things and kind of find like, what's actually going to be fulfilling, what's actually going to be beneficial to life, how are we going to create a life of meaning? And I can't speak a lot for women, but what I see is that a lot of them are either going out and playing like these status kind of games and they're like very kind of, I would say they're addicted to social media, you know, this kind of attention and validation that they get. And they're struggling a lot as well, you know, suicides and depression is rising for both of us. and it's a terrible thing, you know, and I think we're headed in a really bad direction if we don't do something about it. And that's why I kind of wanted to talk about it and address this problem. Because women are wanting men that can provide to them that are, that have lots of wealth, that are good looking, that are taking care of themselves and that sort of thing. And these are good standards to have, but men are looking for a woman, you know, as a man, I'm looking for a woman that's someone that's going to be loyal, that's going to be loving and caring it's going to be trustworthy you know and a lot of women that we kind of see you know they're kind of overly sexualizing themselves and I'm not trying to have a go at you but if this is the way that you're going to present yourself you know um, then that's how it's going to you're going to be taken you know and it's important to have kind of perceptions of other people in mind when you do these sorts of things So what can we kind of do about this? As a man, you know, if you're someone that's kind of in the introspection kind of nihilistic bracket or you're an incel, then what you kind of want to do is to try and gain confidence, gain social skills and work on yourself, you know, just work, do something that you love. And I think it's important to take care of yourself and to kind of create a life that you want and build yourself up because you know, hating on the world, hating on women, getting all kind of emotional and just like sad and just getting stuck in this rut of like watching vi all these movies and these TV shows and playing video games and watching a lot of adult content, you know, it's not, it's not really beneficial to you and it's not very fulfilling. It feels terrible to do these things. And then you go outside and you just feel disgusting. You just feel disgusted by yourself. And how do you expect yourself to be someone that's going to be befriended by people that you like that are going to wish for the best of you how do you expect to find a woman that's going to be able to love you that's attracted to you if you're not presenting yourself as someone confident as, and as someone worth marrying and I would say this in turn to women you know present yourself as someone and build yourself up as someone who's worth marrying you know because we're losing this connection you know on this social media online kind of thing you know even though I'm creating this content online you know there's such a big gap between everyone we're all viewing from our screens we're all kind of at our own kind of on our own you know and alone a lot of people are and staying in this kind of way we've got to find a way forward because staying in this pattern isn't helping us, you know, it's not fulfilling. We do need in-person contact. We do need in-person kind of groups and communities. We do need a few friends that actually get us and that wish the best for us, you know, and that we can just share and experience our life with. And we do need to find someone that we can fall in love with, someone that 
we can spend our life with. And the way that we're going, this is becoming increasingly and increasingly more difficult because the standards for women are very, very high. And it takes a lot of work for a man to reach that. But then women are just expecting this such this high, very high expectation. But you know, what? how are they presenting themselves? What are they doing, you know? And you know, these people that drink a lot of alcohol, that go out partying and all these things, you know, it may seem nice, but like, it doesn't work, you know, it's, it's kind of disgusting and it's like wasting your life and it's like this coping mechanism, you know, like, oh, I have to drink a lot of alcohol to feel comfortable in social situations and I have to be like the center of the party and I have to be like cool and I have to like, everyone has to kind of love me, but it's like, what kind of a man do you want to be? You know, what kind of woman do you want to attract? And as a woman, what kind of man do you want to attract? And are you being that person that's going to attract the person that you want to attract? And I think this is a big problem with Generation Z is this loss of kind of connection, you know? We're more connected than ever, you know, on social media where I'm able to connect to hundreds of thousands of people if they watch, if it's click on the video, of course. But this mass kind of, that we have able to, mass audience of people that we're able to communicate to, you know, it's through a screen and so it's not really genuine, it's not real, it's not direct, it's not in person, we're not seeing and we're not acting on social cues and learning, building our social skills, you know, especially as someone who's like me, you know, more introverted, introverted kind of tends to keep to themselves, you know, it's important to try and get out there and speak to people more. So that's some of the problems I wanted to kind of address with Generation Z and kind of how we seem to be going in a bad direction. I'm Malin. Thank you for watching this video. If you did, and I'll see you in the next one.